Hi all, welcome back to our channel. From order 14 onwards, we have a new report related to currencies in accounting module, that is unrealized currencies gains or losses report. So in this video, let us see how we can make use of this report in order 15 accounting. So you can see here that report under management, unrealized currency gains or losses, so this report will display all open amounts on your balance sheet that need to be re-evaluated. And you can see this group by the currency and their respective accounts. So for this currency uh, euro, you can see the account, account disabled. And when you unfold the account, you can view the related invoice and you can view the general ledger. And this report displays the amount separately in four different columns. First one is balance in foreign currency. Uh, this is the amount taken from uh, bill or invoice. Uh, you can see that in euro. Then balance at operation rate. Uh, this amount is calculated at the operation date. That is calculated at the time you receive the uh, bill or generated the invoice. Then next comes the balance at current date. It's a current amount value at the time of the report. That is, if we got uh, paid right now. The next, we can do the adjustment. Uh, so this is a value that should be added to the accounting in order to update your accounting reports with uh, new information. So right now, we don't have any new adjustment values. And if you want to do adjustment, you can click on this adjustment entry. So you can see right now, no adjustment needed. So this reporting will be helpful if your company works with multiple currencies and you can get up to date real time data that informs you of all the gains or losses and the respective adjustment you should make. Now let's see how a new entry is added to this report. Uh, here we can find all the currencies configured in Odo. So three of them are active like Euro, Indian Rupee, then USD. And you can see the last update date for uh, each of the currency and the rate. So let's activate a new currency from here. Here we have Australian dollar. So let me activate this and when you open you can view the uh, name of the currency pricing accuracy details then the rates added so let me add a new one and you can add a different rate so as our company currency is usd you can see that unit uh, per usd So after activating the currency, you can use it in many areas, like you can set it for a vendor, uh, then inside an invoice or purchase order or vendor bill. So now let me create a customer invoice. And here you can see the journal in which the entries are posted. So I'm choosing it as Australian dollar. Then here, let me add a product. So you can see the sales price in USD is 140 and it is converted to Australian dollar. That is 130.24. Now here we can confirm the invoice. And you can also register the payment. So, so now when you check the unrealized currency gains or losses, you can see a new entry is added for the currency Australian dollar. And here we can see the related invoice. You can view the journal entry. General items. So 
So from here we can register the payment. And here you can see the adjustment is negative 55.69. Then from this report, you can also uh, filter the details by, you can include unposted entries. Then you can change the exchange rate. Have changed the exchange rate uh, for Indian rupee, that is from USD to Indian rupee. And uh, you can see a message shown here, you are using custom exchange date. And it is possible to reset it to auto straight. And we can generate a report uh, by filtering by date. Like if you want to view the unrealized currency gains so or losses report of last month, then for today, last financial year. Now here, for this, account we have an adjustment 35.80 so you can click on adjustment entry and select in which journal you are going to process this accounting entry then choose expense account income account then choose a the date you want to be reported and after adding details, confirm the adjustment. So you can see the foreign currency adjustment entry is created. And then again, check the report to make sure that your adjustment is now zero. So that's how we generate this report unrealized currency gains and losses and if you want to know how uh, multi currencies are managed in order 15 you can uh, check the link above we have done a video on that and if you require any order implementation or customization in your business you can drop a request to order at cyprosis.com